Hey, welcome back to Gold Rush. This is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. As you can see in the top right corner, five days to permafrost. It's getting cold out here in Alaska. Now, the reason why today's video is the most important video of this entire season is because I have spent a freaking long time digging out this damned quarry. Right, well, I'm going to say it's a quarry. It's more of an open field anyway. But as you can see, I've made this huge progression in the land and I've cut into it. And there's so much that's disappeared now. I was able to afford my my dump truck. Oh, yes, my dump truck. And I've got my excavator. I've, I've got the big excavator. We've been churning it that I haven't used this yet. Right, and I like it even more that it's got a number 13 on the side of it. But I haven't used it yet. And the reason why is because I can't cut into the dirt because it's frozen and I know this is a good time to just go off and start exploring and getting ready for like story things a bit to pieces but I want to show you this I've literally finished the plant I have I've got everything finished and it's all good um, and why I'm basically pumping water straight from the stream at the moment because I don't have hundred and fifty thousand dollars to fix the water tower that is my next big build for this area is to get the water tower I'm running off of two water jet pumps straight out of this generator um, when we start earning money again, I'm going to be filling this up and powering the main generator off of this fuel line so I don't run out of fuel all the time. I have all of this plugged in and ready to go. I have all of this plugged in and ready to go. And then the freaking winter sets in and I can't do anything with it. So I'm hoping I can make it through the winter. It's literally going to be. I'm going to just nap through the whole of the winter and hope that I get through. I've got 19% of my magnetite. I suppose I should go and trade this off there. Actually, yeah, today we're going to go and trade off my magnetite because I can do that. 19%. We'll see how much we're going to get out of it. The joys of... Oh, we're going backwards. Let me just change the camera angle. Reverse, reverse, reverse. So let's go, let's go and trade in my magnetite and see what we can get for that because it does need to be done. It is winter. We've got nothing else to do. <laughs> I can't edge backwards, edge backwards, edge backwards, and pause. Right, cool. Uh, turn off uh, the engine. Get that done. Skip it up, dip the bob. Right, let's go. Let's go and trade up. See if we can actually earn anything of magnetite wise. So yeah, I know we haven't got a lot, but I mean it takes a, it takes a little while to get the magnetite done. So we have everything else for tier three. And part of tier 4. I think we're just mainly tier 3. Um, but it's just where we've done so much this season alone to get to where we are. And the snow started coming in and it was like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to get anything done. Everything's just going to go to the pan. The only thing I can do is dig for gold. You know, where we first started next to the river, that's all we can do. And because I moved all of my stuff over... To, oh, I haven't put water into that other one. Okay, so I've got to wire that into water. Um, so yeah, because of all the stuff that we've done with that, we now need to um, wait until the, the summer comes, really. Or the spring, at least. Yeah, spring would be nice. So I don't know what I've got to do with it here. And this is... Oh, here we go. There we go. So we've got 10,000 ounces of magnetite. I suppose we can go and do the blacksmithy stuff now. Because there's stuff you can do with the blacksmith. Like with magnetite. I don't really want to sell it. I want to level up my blacksmith. So I'm not, I'm not sure if I level up my area. We'll go and check that out as well. I'll see you at the blacksmith's house. Okie dokie. Right. So. Um, upgrade. So we can buy all of these. Buy medium burner kit. I don't even know what the hell all these do. Uh, buy medium shares. Cost upgrade of smelting. Cost reduced. I'm not sure. So, yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so we've got 802. Uh, let's sell magnetite. We can sell what we've got left. 
We need the we're going to need the money to get through the for the uh, for the winter. Let's put it that way. Because I mean, I'm, the thing is, is I can't really do much whilst I'm here. I even got around to a fit, like firing my employees, and the reason why is because I changed up my um my plant. Um, I don't have the uh, the the mobile wash plant anymore. I don't have the, some of the stuff they were working on, so there was no point in keeping them. And with the upgrade that they put into this, with the whole like you have to have this, 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 and this, it's like, well, okay, well, I, I don't use that anymore. So um, yeah, I've I've had to remodel that. I think the one thing I have got to go and check out is uh, my sluices at the bottom of my run, and they're supposed to have water pouring down them. So I suppose let's go and check that out. I'll see you back at the ground. Do 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 little do, do do. So this is the last part of my like with with all this being done up. It's just something I forgot to do was to actually attach this to something. <sighs> so these. I need another one of those, really, don't I? Um, yeah. I think what we, what we could do is just move this, that one over there when we're not using it. It's a bit of a cop-out. Um... Can we run it off of our generator? And what I mean by the generator, I actually mean this little what this thing here. Yeah, we can. Okay. I might need to. I might need some more of this. So what we'll do is we'll take this. We'll take this calmly. We'll we'll walk it down slowly. And if it stretches all the way to one of the sluices, then we'll just do that to the other one. But I'm gonna have to go and get another wire, I think. Fantastic. Right, okay, so we need one more of those wires. Ah, joy. Okay, we're going to have to go and get another one. Sounds good. Oh, we got one. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> right. So we're running that one off of that one, then this one. Just going to follow it down gently, so I'm not going to break the wire, so it doesn't overstretch. We're just going to walk it all the way down to the sluice. If we can plug this in, then we don't have to worry. Then like, when we go into it's like springtime, it's going to be good. It's going to be very good. All right. I'm going to disturb my box of buckets. We've lost my hose. Where'd it go? There. Let's see if we can make that a little bit longer. Oh no! So we need one of those and one of those for now. I know later on when we hook up to the when we hook up to the the main um, water supply, we're probably going to be using one of those and the fat hoses. But we're pretty much done now. Don't really, I don't really use lights. That's that's a big. Everyone's like, oh, you you've got to buy lights because, you know, you need to be able to see in the dark. It's like, well, if you just turn on your light, you can see in the dark. Strangely. So yeah, I'm I I, I haven't really used much in the way of lighting. I've just worked at night. I turn the light on with the 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 excavator. I turn the lights on with the uh, the truck. Any exterior power supply for lights and stuff is just a waste of uh, is just a waste of fuel in my book. I know I should have parked closer, but you know what? Who gives a shit? Really does. Right, let's run ourselves over. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've wired everything up, and as soon as I turn on the generator, everything should really kick into gear. Okay, so we need to sit this there and connect you to that. And then we need to go and get our other wire. I tried to clean it up as much as possible. I'll, probably, I'll, I'll see if we can do some more cable management. Give me a sec. See if we can get rid of some of all these crossing wires, I suppose. So we need to wire this to that. And then we'll walk down and we'll walk it to the uh, the other sluice. And there we go. Don't think I can uncross some of these because 
unless I turn this over to that side and that one goes over there. Ah, oh, there's another jerry can there. Is it empty? Yeah, that's empty. I'll take it back. Um, I might need more buckets, maybe. Um, that container, I literally bought that because I was try I was shipping the containers up. I was shipping the buckets up from down there by hand. I was like, oh, if I just get one of those boxes, I could do it. I used it for like 15 minutes. And then I decided, you know what, I just need to buy like the excavator. I need to buy this now. I've, like, I've made this so this is all like that one goes down there. That one goes down there. All these stay up here. The water supply stays here as well. You know, I think I've done as best as I can when it comes to cable management, at least. But it's been nice. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, let me down in the comment section below and see if you actually want to see more of these. As soon as the next season starts up, though, I will be trying to jump into that. So it may be like a video a day where I show my progression and show how everything's evolving. But thank you very much for joining me. I will see you all in another video. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.